morning. Just going on a little trip today. Finally got my snowmobile going after having a frozen battery. We got a break in the weather. It's only about minus 19 Celsius, which isn't too bad at all. I'm just at the beginning of this old logging road. I've talked about it in past videos. There's two fallen trees already in my way. And I'm just wondering what I should do. I've been stuck twice already today. Once just trying to leave my yard. So it's not, not off to a good start. So right in front of me there is a fallen tree. It's about one foot in diameter. I think I could build a snow bridge over top of it. You know, I don't want to slam anything out underneath my machine and start losing coolant. Definitely don't want to break down out here. And further up ahead there is another fallen tree, much bigger. But I could see that there is a trail going around it. It's very tight. You know, I probably have to get off my machine and slide over, slide the rear end over. So I've decided to take off this big bulky jacket, grab my backpack, and just hike down. I want to see what I'm in for. I haven't been down in this area for about a year. And I'm not trying to be over dramatic, but this is very dangerous. There's cliffs down here. You start getting out of control on your snow machine, and you go right off a cliff. Well, I'm off by foot. I'm going to check out this logging trail. On my way, I'm going to be looking for resources. I have my container here. Spruce sap, rose hips, stuff like that. Got this small tree here. Might as well cut it down by hand. Found a real nice score of some spruce sap here. Oh yeah, look at that. So I've hiked about half this logging trail and it's not looking too bad. So I think I'm going to go back, disconnect my Comatic and just come down here with my snowmobile. I just finished building this little snow bridge to get over top of this log. I figured it'd be a lot quicker than pulling up my chainsaw fighting with that for a while. And that log's probably frozen solid anyways. There's no way you're going to get that out of there. Because I won't be bringing my Comatic down with me, I packed everything in my backpack, snowmobile repair kit, and my shovel, just in case I get stuck or break down. And my container for collecting spruce sap and any other resources I can find. made it down to the bottom of the logging trail had a few scary moments and most of the time I was just coasting didn't even touch the throttle and I'm glad I didn't take my Comatic I probably would have been stuck and I just want to check things out see what I need to do down here for fallen trees 
every now and then I do stop and get off my snowmobile and have a look ahead, see what I'm in for. There's some pretty good hills and slopes around here. Gotta be careful. I think this is my first time ever having crap dinner out in the woods. I'm just sitting by the fire warming up, cleaning up this pot. And after making it down to the bottom of this logging trail, I've decided it's just not a good way to make it to my winter camp. I was hoping I'd find a shortcut and save myself some time and uh, get close enough that it wouldn't be so far to carry my chainsaw. But it's just not going to happen. There's so many fallen trees, it's such a huge entanglement that it'd be way too dangerous for me to try to clear that. So I'm kind of disappointed. That's, you know, the whole time I was sitting uh, waiting for my snowmobile, I was picturing myself coming this way to my winter camp. I think it's time I started heading back. And I actually wanted to check out my trail camp today, but it's starting to get late. And the weather's getting colder. So I am off and I'll see you next time.